Hey there, fidget spinners. It's me. We do not need gender whisperers in our schools. Let kids be kids. Wowzers. Looks like mama needs to do some transplaining. Let's just break it down to you and me. A couple of days ago, Australia's latest Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, put out this tweet and mm, mm, it's a little bit fucked. Uh, first off, what's a gender whisperer? Hey kids, come get some hormones. Come get some hormones and become a horse. It is pretty clear what the uh, Prime Minister is trying to say here, uh, that he doesn't believe that this transgender ideology belongs in schools and that we shouldn't be polluting children's innocence with this gender bender fad. The problem with this is that being transgender is neither an ideology nor a fad. It's not Cole's little shop. Tiny Nutella and tiny eggs. Being trans is not a choice. It's not an ideology. Gender dysphoria affects one person in 500, often from childhood. It is identifiable, it is diagnosable, and it is treatable. It is a fact that some children are transgender and they experience genuine distress around their gender identity. And without guidance or support, they grow to become confused and depressed and ashamed. How do I know this? Because it happened to me. <laughs> I can remember experiencing feelings of gender dysphoria from the age of four, but as a young person, I didn't know how to deal with it. I didn't have any frame of reference. I didn't have any support. I didn't have the language to articulate this pain that I felt. And perhaps I may have been living a happier life sooner if someone had simply whispered to me, hey, I think I know what's going on. I can help you. Hey, sadly, I think we're going to be talking about transgender kids for a while. It is something that was coming up a lot during the marriage equality debate. And old ScoMo is trying to drum up some fear uh, and win himself some votes. Uh, Probably in those Sydney seats, you know, the ones that are Labor seats that voted no in the, uh, in the survey. And that sucks. It sucks to continue to target queer kids to try and win political points. And to any of the kids out there who might be feeling like garbage because of this, I see you. I think you are wonderful. I think you have a perspective that is unique and important. I am proud of you. I'm here for you and I've got your back. And for the people out there who are afraid, perhaps parents, I'm here for you too. Because I know that your fear is real and that your feelings are genuine. I just believe that they are based on conjecture and, and false rhetoric that's being spouted by people like our Prime Minister. People like our Prime Minister are being dishonest to make you afraid. Because most people out there who are afraid are, are saying things like children are too young to make these decisions about their bodies. No five-year-old should be pumping themselves full of hormones and getting surgery. And the thing is, there's, there's no reason to argue with that because there are no surgical or hormonal treatments for a child who is five. Hormones trigger puberty and if you give hormones to a five-year-old, you're gonna have a bunch of five-year-olds with beards. Yes, hormone treatments can be sought by teenagers, kids around 15, but the guidelines around that are strict and thorough. Even for an adult, there are all sorts of checks and balances to make sure that someone isn't inappropriately treated. Yes, often kids are just experimenting and they're just trying on different ideas and different things, and that is fine. But sometimes a child is transgender. And in that case, is it not better to have someone to help and guide them? People aren't out there encouraging a young woman to swallow down some testosterone just because she likes baseball. And yes, I hear the fear, 
that you do not want your child to be transgender because you don't want them to be bullied or to have a difficult life. And I'm not going to lie to you, being trans sometimes is difficult. But the most difficult thing is having parents who you believe do not accept you or support you or love you. If your child happens to be transgender, they can't change that and neither can you. So the only choice that you have is to accept them and support them or encourage them to hide their identity and feel ashamed. So if you are a parent of a young child and you are worried about this issue, then just remember that with a young child, all you need to do is show them that you love them and you support them. Let them play with the toys they want to play with. Let them wear the clothes they want to wear. Encourage them to explore. Have conversations about their feelings. Teach them to have self-respect and to respect the people around them. Remind them that they are wonderful and that you will love them no matter what. That's it. That is all you need to do to support a child who may or may not be transgender. All you need to do is just let kids be kids. Thank you for watching. Uh, please continue the discussion in the comments. I look forward to uh, reading what you have to say. Uh, also, if anyone has the bananas, uh, that would be great because I've got like three of the dog food um, and I don't even have a dog. I'm not particularly fond of animals.